part two of this amazing collar starts now. Okay, so I have her nice and neat here. Two by two, I left one stitch on the main bed on both sides. Row count is back to zero, zero, zero. And now I'm going to knit until this middle part. Make sure we're all okay. We are. This is not a race. You just want to make sure everybody knits off, okay? So now we're going to transfer everything onto the ribber using our double eye transfer tool. Now if you did get it to drop here, don't worry, I'm going to fix it here first and then we'll come back. Okay, I've almost done my screw up here. So now what we're going to do is we're only going to knit on the ribber for one row. Make sure all of those are pushed back. If you don't feel secure, add some extra weight to it. You are putting the ribber to tension six and you are knitting one very slow row. Okay, we're back to four. Now you are going to only transfer the opposite ones that you had before. So the ones that were on the ribber before are now going on to the main bed. So we are totally reversing them now. I'll come back when I have transferred all of these. All right. We are now going to knit tension four, four. I bet you'll be nine rows. One. Two. You want to knit one extra row. Now we're going to transfer everything up to the top. I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so the last couple. See how everything got tangled up when it shouldn't at all. All right, I'm going to remove some of the weights from here and then I'm going to fold this up. So I'll let you see what it looks like 
from the other side. So this is the pattern. Two by two, two by two. When we fold it over, it's going to lay absolutely flat. I'm going to put a couple claw weights on, just the very top. One on each side and one in the middle. And I'm putting them in backwards. Because I don't want them to interfere with the uh, folding over. I'm going to move my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, if this is right, then I should be able to remove the comb and start the fold over process. I'm now going to spend the rest of my evening very carefully hanging up that uh, E-wrap row that we put up onto each needle as far as I can get it to go. I will come back when that's done. Okay, so I used a two-prong transfer tool. I probably should have chosen a different uh, waste yarn. Because uh, yellow is not a good option with white. I should have used black or something. Okay, these are the last ones. One, two, three. Okay. So now, we move those all up. It's a very nice fold over. We're just going to put one stitch over top here. This is that yarn tail. I just want to give it one loop. Okay, looks pretty good. Switching out the sinker plate again or connecting arm. We're not going to use the ribber anymore today. Okay, tension six on the carriage. Load the carriage, close the door. Make sure your brush doesn't pick up your yarn. Watch tension. Go careful, go slow. Okay, this is all locked in now. Now we will uh, attach it to our sweater. So make sure that you are grabbing the neckline of the sweater and not an armhole. You want to line up all of your yarn ends here. I don't know why those are all tangled, but they are. Okay, you have all of these yarn tails here. The 
This is center. I'm going to line up your center seam. Not that seam. You want to line up what you hung first for center, and then the orange one for center. Bring that forward. Take a look at it. You want to make sure you're not grabbing the wrong seam here. So that's for center. Let it dangle. Make sure all your yarn tails are this way. Okay, take a look at it. If you don't like how it looks, pull it. Make it work for you. So if that is your last stitch, that's your last stitch. Okay, you like that better? make it work for you. So we'll call one one center. Now if you figure out from, so this is 10, 20, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 8, 58 divided by 2 is 9, 29. So if you go 10, 20, 9, that should be where that one goes. This one is 60, 78, 78 divided by 2. So that should also be 39. Mm, no, 29. Okay. Now you're going to do what's called easing. So you're just going to take random. You're going to put it up. Just pick one. Put it up. If you have an extra claw weight, use it to keep that shoulder seam from getting too friendly. Also keep an eye on all of your yarn tails and make sure that your yarn tails stay to the bad side or pearl side. I will come back when this is all eased on. So now what are we going to do? Well, we have everything on. So now we're going to take our yarn tails and we're going to weave them. That way we don't have to deal with them after. Don't weave this one, it's not a real one. Try and keep all the blue ones to the blue and orange ones in the orange. Okay. 
need another clip. Fantastic. Okay, clips there. This is the orange one, it's going this way. And then back to its friends. This one goes under and over. friends this one one two three and then back one two all right those are all good now we're going to knit Tension six, back across, and then we have to do something I really hate. Okay, we're going to knit one more row, tension ten, and then we have to back row. I mean back stitch. One more time. Okay, bring them all forward and then we backstitch. How do you backstitch? Well, you take four times the width of your piece in a yarn tail. So, one, two, three, four. Load it onto a blunt needle and you go in and out of the stitches several times. I will show you how it goes closer to the end of the piece. Okay, I'll do a quick little demo here of back stitch. Go one stitch forward into the back of the other one. Pull it through. Show it again. Stitch ahead. Stitch back. Pull it through. Stitch forward, stitch back, pull it through. It's a nice flat seam, and it's the uh, stretchiest seam I know of. It's also the most secure. There you go. I'll finish this up. So what have we accomplished so far? Doesn't look like much, does it? You know, it's a little bit of a tree, and a little bit of a back. It's kind of pretty. I'm going to take this waste yarn off, and then I'll show you. So here we go. Hang on, I'm sitting on my yarn tail there. Okay. There's our back. Here's our front. Tomorrow we will sew this last shoulder seam together. Okay. And then we'll do the sleeves. And the sleeves will go pretty quick. And we'll get this thing done by Friday. Okay, so tomorrow we finish this up.